guys. I'm back today with um, a paper pack from Photoplay, The Hockey Life. This is a very small paper pack, so it only costs $9, and it's got six pages in here. You'll see I've started cutting up some of this for our project, so you didn't have to watch me cut too much. But it's got two sheets of this, which are, they're all double-sided. It has lots of fun little sayings, things like that. And I'm going to go through each page just to kind of show you what we have. We have kind of this um, mint color theme with red, and that really goes well with this being ice. So I have two hockey players, and I needed to make six thank you cards for the coaches. And so I just thought this could be really cool, and it would be fun to see how far I could stretch this. So it does come with one sticker sheet. These are just regular stickers. They're not chipboard or anything like that. I do assume in this project you have some basic supplies like glue, maybe something that says thank you, and maybe just some scraps. These two pages that I found right here don't come with it, these solid sheets. They're just in my stash, and I felt like they matched pretty well. So I end up using mainly the red because I felt like the other one was a little bit off from that ice. And then I have these pink fresh classic word dies, and I'm just going to use thank you. Decided I would make it simple and have everybody have the same thank you on their card so that I don't have to go through other dies or decide what kind of sayings I'm putting on the front. Glossy accents helps just add some dimension to different things. I wanted to show you a couple of different scoreboards that I have. I got this Caterpillar crease recently, and it does have its place, especially when you're doing a lot of cards or your card stock really wants to tear. So I wanted to show you what it has. It has its tools up in the top. They are firmly in there, so you might see me struggle with them just a little bit. The first is almost like a ruler, but it's got this edge of metal in the middle and the red dot on the side, so you can put it exactly where you want it on there and kind of hook it into the side. When you do that, I feel like this makes my best crease. What I don't like about it is there's nothing to hold my paper. So this little thing, you can use it like a regular scoreboard, or you can use that other edge that you'll see me use. It looks like it shouldn't do anything, but it goes over this metal edge. And so you just have to be careful holding your paper still and um, kind of score through there. But I feel like this makes the best score I've seen. It does not tear paper. It really um, makes a good edge. And so if I'm wanting to make sure that I don't have a tear, it is very nice. I'm sure there's other ways that you can use your scoreboard or your score pal and not get tears, but I've had a lot more success with this. I rarely pull this out for just one card, but if I'm going to be scoring a lot of them, I use it. I promise I won't take too much longer on folding cards. But this is one of those things I struggle with. So I'm going to use the score buddy and a bone folder, I believe from Lawn Fawn that did not come with it. So it's a little bit heavier duty. And I do still get a good crease, but when I fold, I'm going to show you in this freeze frame coming up how I tend to get little edges that are torn right here. I'm going to skip the process of cutting all of these thank yous and their um, little shadows out because I'm assuming that you know how to die cut and that can get a little tedious. So I took a mat that is a nonstick mat and my glossy accents and I went through and I put it on the top of all of these letters that just gives them a little bit more dimension. It gives them some shine. Looks like they're a fancy paper when they're just my um, basic white cardstock. Here's the finished version. Hard to tell the shiny part, but I promise it's there. Next, we're going to play with a stamp that I love. These are sentiment strips by Tailored Expressions, and these are the mini sentiment strips. The nice thing about these is that you have a die that you can cut all of them out at once. So even though I'm only going to use one of these sentiments, I'm going to make sure that I do a good job stamping and cutting and then save all of the other ones for other cards. I do plan on embossing, so you saw me use my anti-static powder tool, and I'm using some black ink, and then we'll stamp. As you see with these strips, when it comes back up, it has three squares on each side. That's to help line up the die, which I'll show you in a minute. Before I cut these out, we need to emboss them. So I used black ink, and then I'm going to use a clear embossing powder. 
heating up this next part just to show you the clear embossing powder and using a coffee filter, which I learned from Jennifer McGuire, saves me a ton of cleanup. And then just put my heat tool to this. You'll see that it becomes nice and glossy black, which just gives it a great look. This is the die that goes with it. You see those squares on each edge so that you can line it up. Once you've got this lined up, which I would make sure a few times that you have it right, tape it down. And then when it comes out, you get these beautiful pieces that are perfectly cut and ready to use on your card. Next, I'm gonna cut the liners for the inside of the cards. All of my cards are standard A2, so when I have a 12 by 12 sheet, I cut at four, and then my other measurement is 5.25, so basically taking 0.25 off of each of the measurements, which gives you a nice little border. Here's a quick shot of how that fits in the card. Next, I'm gonna add some stitching to the edges. These are the Lawn Fawn Just Stitched Rectangle Dies, and I thought that adds just a nice little element to the inside of the card. Next, we're gonna use those sentiment strips inside our card, and I'm gonna show you the We Are Memory Keepers Mini Laser Square. This, I don't use all the time, and you can always use a ruler for this, but this light, once you've got it set, especially if you're doing multiple cards, it's very nice to go in and adjust your sentiment and get it level. Like I said, it's not an all the time use, but if you're making multiples, it really helps. Now let's get started on our card fronts. So before I brought this screen in, I had taken some of the pattern paper and cut it to four by 5.25. That leaves that little border around the edge. And I'd taken all those pieces and taken a dark um, distress ink, usually black soot, and take it right around the edges. I feel like it makes that edge pop a little bit against the white. And I did that against all of these. So as you're looking at them, if you see extra definition, it's because I did that little line around them. Behind this hockey front panel here, I added foam. This is the only card that I do like this without the thank you on the front. I just loved the hockey um, little panel and could not help but use it. So I added that. That pops it up. I went around the edges of this with a distress ink pad just to give the border of the red a little bit more. And then I put it on the front. Here's a little close-up view of that card. And then I'm going to move on to playing with some of the stickers. I've got part of this cart built and I really wanted to use some hockey players on the front of these. This thank you would not fit in between the two bulky hockey players. So I decided to kind of make my own strip of almost like washi tape out of those stickers at the bottom that have fun little hockey words on them. And so it looks like this up close. The next card plays with some stickers also, but it also uses extra leftover strips of paper. So if you'll notice the strip that's in the middle right there, you don't want to throw that stuff away. Just keep it close and know that you can help build your card with it. Here it is one of those up close. I think you have the idea now. Just use everything in the pack and combine it together. It makes great cards. I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything I used will be linked in the description below. Please take the time to subscribe and like the video. Thanks so much guys.